this morning. I've got this. It started smoking as soon as I uh, fired it up, red lights flashing. I stopped the moment I could see that something was burning. And going in there, I don't know if you can see it, but the ESCs for the front right motor have fried. So the cover off the other one, that is quite clearly fused to the wires, while this one on the other side is loose, I can move it around. It now appears obvious that I screwed up. I'm looking at it and quite clearly that the wires, the red and yellow wire combinations, I never got round to insulating on that side. I must have been tired when I was doing it. Compared with the other ones where you can see the black liquid insulation on the wires, on for all three other sets of motors, this one you've got bright metal, no sign of ever having been insulated. So I decided to go ahead and buy another one. Found on Banggood but they weren't available for a bit until the end of the month. So I had a look on eBay and it was only another eight dollars but they claim they'll get to me by the end of the month. So I ordered it. Well it's the last day it's Halloween tonight. So the last day of the month and the new ESC board for my Bug C has arrived. So there's the one I burnt out. There's the new one. Uh, looking at the back of it, um, it's a newer release. This one is uh, version 1.4. Well, this one is a few months later and it's version 2.1. So I've got a bit of soldering ahead of me. So I've got a solder to all these points along here. So there's they're the four, uh, three each for each of the four motors. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then I've got to solder a couple of points to the board as well. Right, so there's a small clip to take out first that holds the um, the connector for the battery. So I just used a, a pick to prise that from underneath through these little holes and uh, away it went. So this allows me to get a good look at the whole thing. Now I've pulled out the the battery connector and I can see more clearly I've got to solder uh, three leads each for the motors plus there's a solder, soldering point to the um, to the board underneath it right next to where the uh, the four pin, one, two, three, four pin plug goes on. So it should be straightforward, but time will tell. Okay, that's the old board removed. So one thing I decide straight away is rather than cutting the two wires that are sold onto the board, the red and the black, I'll just um, shorten the wires and join them in the middle. That way I don't need to solder that's two solder points I don't need to do onto the the lower the lower board. Okay, so I've got everything soldered up. And I put an adapter on the battery lead. So the next thing to do is to fire it up and see what happens. First of all. Pop this on here. The next thing is to seems to indicate that we've got we've uh, lit it up. Right. 
So if I turn this off. So it's blowing a gale out here at the moment, so uh, ideal for controlling with a jumper. The one thing I noticed with the jumper, where I had to reinitialize it. Even though it came up with the same ID number, it wouldn't work until I did that. So a bit surprised because I didn't assume, I didn't think the ID would be associated with the ESC board. That's my customized uh, startup tone. So not ideal, I wouldn't want to fly it with the standard bugs controller in this sort of weather, but I've got a bit more confidence with the, uh, the jumper. So away I go. Back in the air with uh, bug 6 with 4 alloy bug 3 motors. And it's holding well. So looking forward to calmer weather. Uh, get back into action, I've got to put an FPV camera on it. And also I'll probably hang a high definition camera underneath it, see if we can get some good footage. And I've gone straight to the uh, King Kong uh, full nose two blade props, uh, 6045s I think. And a bumpy touch and go.